say hello? Hello? <laughs> hello and welcome to this video. So Jed and I are going to do a little house tour of our rental place um, in Tweed Heads. So like I've explained in a different video, this is just a temporary place. We didn't even know what it looked like before we arrived. Um, but it's fine. We just have uh, making it home and I'm going to give you a little tour and tell you Oh, Jenny! Ha! A tour, a tour. We're going to give you a tour and then I'm going to tell you the good, the bad and the ugly and I'm going to tell you a few of my little baby, um, what are you, what do you call it? Like, um, baby proofing hacks that I've rediscovered um, because with every place you move there's a new things that you have to uh, hack and some new storage hacks and things like that so let's uh, you're offering some milk that's very nice that's very nice so we're going to go back to the front of the house and show you through okay yeah. okay cool <laughs> oh hello so we're at the front door um i'm just going to show you inside today but <laughs> Oh, we're not going outside just yet. So we've just finished a minor meltdown for Mr. Jed because I opened the front door, but we didn't go out. But anyway, let's just see how we go. So when you come in, um, this is what it looks like. This is just the entryway. And when you go in straight here, we, we're using this room as an office. This is uh, nothing special to look at. It's just, um, it is what it is at the moment. Wow, well, we need Florida. to put some things away. Florida. Calculator, yes. So that's just a functional space at the moment. Um, hopefully one day we can have a nice little office, but not yet. So got my little mirror and We've hung up, hung up our pictures, which kind of makes a difference to making it feel a bit more homely. So I just use the 3M uh, sticky things to hang up pictures. I like the look of the hooks better because you can kind of see the sticky bits from the side. But for the heavier frames, I just trust the, the Velcro stickies better. Dad, do you want to come out? You want to come out? No. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's okay. Okay, so I'll just be in your room, all right? Okay, so this is Jed's room next along. Um, I was hesitating at first about which room to give him, but made the right decision on this one because the sun pretty much goes over the top of his room. It doesn't shine directly in at any part of the day, which is great because it's not, I mean, it hasn't gotten too hot yet. We'll see how it goes at summer. So yeah, this is Jed's room. We were able to have pretty much the same layout as we did at our last place, which sort of, I think helped with um, maybe settling in a bit. And I've picked up a few new bits like this guy from Kmart and just needed a bigger rug for this size room. It's a bit bigger. Um, little teepee there from Kmart. Let's face it, everything's from Kmart. Yes, darling. Oh, did you find mummy's credit card? Oh, you're going to go shopping. I probably shouldn't teach you that stuff, but anyway. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. His he has a wardrobe here which is great because he didn't before so in the last place all his storage and hanging stuff had to be in a spare room but here i need to get on the weekend we're gonna get some of those wire pull out baskets from ikea they've got like six or eight just because at the moment this is just a jumble of shoes i've got his blankets and as you can see it's just a mess um, at the last place I had things organized into like clothes that were too big, like too big yet, clothes that he'd outgrown, um, and you know, stuff like that. And I just need to get it a bit more organized. 
so we are going to go into the next room oh these are the ugly bits of block out fabric that i have because oh we've gone all dark here what's going on here i need to find another thing for that if i don't have that piece of block out fabric sorry you cannot see this the light's gone all funny but if i don't have that there the sunlight just streams up and it's bright as daylight in here for nap time and naps win so at the moment we're putting up with that ugly thing okay moving on and we come in here we've got this big linen press which we have filled because we basically have we own way too many sheets and blankets um but anyway and then in here we just have got some more picks here honeymoon picks and here there's like guest toilet situation hi still calculating well, Jed is insisting on sitting at the desk and doing some business, so we'll have to come back and keep checking on him. Okay. Um, so, further in here, we have the like main slash guest bathroom, whatever you want to call it. So, nothing incredible in here. Um, got this little stool thing from Kmart where else we go out here and that's pretty much the rest of the house so when we first walked in here I went oh my god um it's small how are we gonna fit everything but we made it work okay so yeah we've just got this sort of eating area here kitchen table that thing and this little shelf which is kind of like nice little colorful spot there um kitchen is what it is the storage is pretty good in there so that's pretty um handy floor note to self don't ever have tiles basically this looks like they're dirty but these marks are all chips and everything shows up on these tiles, so nasty. Um, and the other eyesore part of this place is the horrible, horrible vertical grape drapes. Like, they're just gross. And I tried to clean them, but they're just discolored, so there's no saving them. But I did just completely remove the track from the kitchen because I couldn't bear looking at them. I would take these ones off only at night. It is quite nice to be able to shut them and what's it called? SD card full, memory card full. So took a bit of a break and made a green smoothie. Hmm. This is, oh, that's terrible. Greens these greens and mixed with banana and oat milk and uh, Coco Bella coconut yogurt really yummy um, so while we're in the kitchen I just want to show you a couple of um, new baby safety hacks well, not hacks but just new gadgets that I found that I didn't know of before. Uh, well, one of these I did know of before. Excuse this oven, it's really old and bomby. But this, and Jed's just having a series of meltdowns. This is an oven lock. You can just get it from Bunnings at $6 or something, and it shuts across the door. So that's a good one. These little clips are good for holding the door shut for stuff that you open regularly. But my favourite, favourite thing that we've just discovered are, Jed, let's have a look in here, these little magnetic locks. So the lock sticks here and you can either have it on, well this is all blurry, but basically you can have it unlocked so that you can freely open and close it 
or you can flick a switch and it locks it and you use this magnet can we have a look well, anyway this is a magnet and you sort of hold it there and it unlocks it and you unlock the jaw so it's good because you don't have to have your permanent jaws permanently locked so for example if jed's going through a phase where he's not paying mm, any attention to those drawers then i'll just leave them unlocked um because you don't want to be fiddling with that magnet any all the time and for example this cupboard the tupperware cupboard i usually don't have it locked but if somebody starts paying a lot of attention to it then i'll flick the magnet lock on it okay back to the tour so the tour because it's such a massive place this eight cube unit is new as well and the baskets i got them from bunnings so i've just categorized his toys um in here so i had to get this because at our last place the lounge room area was up against a wall so he had space to kind of have his toys but there wasn't anything like that here um hot tip if anyone's looking for something like this this unit was i think it was about 80 ish from bunnings the same thing is 120 at ikea identical dimensions and whatnot so just a little tip for you are you putting some of those in that container that's a good idea cool and then so this is just our little lounge area when we arrived here we thought oh my goodness we're not going to be able to fit these in but thankfully we have We've got jed's little toy box here and i think that i've been trying to figure out where on earth the christmas tree is going to go and i think it's going to have to go either in this kind of area or i don't want to put it over near the toilet that's just silly but anyway i'm getting ahead of myself i'm a bit excited about christmas um and then yeah this is pretty um basic so the backyard is something sorry we're going all white here backyard is something that i quite like about this space okay that's better so it's a little backyard um but it's i like the little trees and although it's little it's adequate and um we've just been watering and fertilizing the grass to try and green it up a bit the brown patches are where we've put some weed stuff so and then it just goes down the side there um small but the important thing is is just having a little bit of grass isn't it jed because we need some place space to play and um then we just come into our room over here so it just comes off the main area and pretty much looks exactly the same as it did at our last place um mm, lindsay hasn't put his washing away naughty and then i do i really like the view from our bedroom it just is nice like little tranquil tropical-ish looking space i don't know it's an improvement from where we were because there used to be a main road and um so we don't have that main road traffic anymore what we do have is we're living underneath a flight path which um the first couple of days like i knew that it was under a flight path because um my friend told me um my friend that checked it out but i kind of thought oh how bad can it be well the first couple of days that we were here we thought oh oh my god this is so loud but you kind of you get used to it and you kind of just i don't know you get used to it so i wouldn't live under a flight path permanently in a permanent home but it's okay for now so this is just the little ensuite um in in off the bedroom hi darling having a good snack you are mm -hmm. good one can you say no worries 
<laughs> Jed's latest thing is rolling his eyes at me. I don't know where he gets that from. I forgot to show you a little rental hack from the bedroom. Excuse the lighting, but I need to show you this because if you're renting somewhere that has vertical blinds and you want to cover them with curtains, this is an awesome product that you can get. So they're called no-no brackets and you can find them on eBay. And what it is, so when you have vertical blinds, you have this track here. And so there's the vertical blinds there hidden behind the curtain. And the no-no bracket is this piece here, this silver piece. And you can get them in silver, white, black and brown. And it it just slots, it just slots over the top of the bracket and then you and then it you just put your curtain rod into there and you screw this piece closed and then you just sit you, you sit your curtain rod in there and it covers the ugly vertical blinds. So a set of three is about $50 so not heaps cheap which is why I think I'm not going to bother covering these because if I pay 50 plus 50 plus the curtains it's going to end up a few hundred and I just don't know if I want to justify paying that for somewhere that's just temporary but we already had these curtains and I just couldn't bear looking at the vertical, the like beige vertical blinds. So I've hung them up in there and we've done the same for Mommy. Jed's room. So that's just a little hack for you. Mummy. Oh, you've got some bowls. Mummy. Is that mummy's, is it? No. Is that yours? Your bowl? Mummy's. Okay. Lovely. Okay. That is the whole place. Not a very big tour, obviously. It's quite small, so um, short and sweet. Um, happy, happy. Open. Okay, hang on. There you go. Oh, we don't, it just, they come through there, darling. See, like this. Shake, shake. Can you shake, shake? Um, but yeah, my friends that live around here have been really good about welcoming, making us feel really welcome. The first day that we arrived here, we got to the house at four o'clock and it was completely empty because our furniture wasn't arriving till the next day. And my friend Danny already invited us to a barbecue at her place. So the first day we arrived here, we had a barbecue at their place and they'd invited like three sets of their new friends. And it just happens that their friends that, um, my friends have met through mother's group and their husbands and it just so happens that all of them like all everyone that was there were used to live in sydney and had moved up around the area in uh, like recently so everyone was kind of in the same boat of wanting to like make new friends and things like that so it was a really really good way to start our like new adventure here because I think without that it Puppy. Puppy. open we'll shake some more out shake 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 it was just a good way to sort of go okay we're gonna be all right we can make new friends here and it was a nice sort of just way to start things off and what else have we been doing well as I said yeah. in whoa yeah. there's so many of them aren't there whoa um, apart from sort of just unpacking, getting organized, making a thousand trips to Bunnings for whatever. Um, what have we been doing? Well, hanging out with my parents, obviously. Um, we've gone to the beach a few times. We haven't gone in the water yet, but we've gone to like the park and, and just walking. We've had a couple of meals out and, oh, did you hurt your hand? Cause they got a bit spiky, aren't they? They're a bit spiky, you have to be careful. Jed's playing with toothpicks. Um, yeah, so I'll, I might 
take the camera along and show you a bit of what it looks like around the area another time but thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this quaint little rental house tour thanks for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye bye, bye. <laughs> shall we count these one no. two no. no well there are a lot to count aren't there uh. one what comes after one? No. What comes after one? No. No? No. No, okay. Jed says two. Really cute. I just wanted him to say one, two. No. <laughs> but he's not going to. Are you? You're not going to. Two. <laughs> you've got a little froggy in your throat. A little froggy. One, two, no. Little froggy. No. That's okay. Yeah. All right. We'll say bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>